Hi friends, today I'm going to show you a simple blog post workflow using Jarvis. If you haven't signed up for Jarvis yet, grab my affiliate links, sadiesmiley.com slash Jarvis, sign up for a free trial, check it out. This is the workflow that I teach my VAs whenever I'm wanting them to create blog posts with Jarvis. So if you have a virtual assistant, send them to this video so they can watch my workflow. It'll be a great jumping off point to get them started. Log into your dashboard and click the plus sign next to documents and then choose blog post workflow. In the first box, you need to type what you're going to create. The better information that you give Jarvis, the better information he gives you in return. So I'm kind of lazy with this step, to be honest, just because I fine tune everything in the next few steps. Uh, but if you can give Jarvis a little description of what you're wanting him to write, it's going to help. So we're going to write about ways to de-stress, actually ways for moms specifically to de-stress. The next box has keywords, but these are optional. Before you even get to the point of writing this blog post, you're going to start with your ideation and SEO. So I'm not covering that in this video. I'll do it in another one. But right here, you'll plug your keywords from your SEO research into this box if you would like. These are not my keywords, I'm just throwing some in there. And then the next step is to let Jarvis pick a title if you don't have one yet. Remember at this step, nothing is permanent, nothing is set in stone. You can change this title anytime you want. So if you're not sure, if you're not really loving any of these, just pick one and move on to the next step. One thing that people do is they, they tend to get hung up on the little stuff, and I don't want that to happen. So if you don't have the keywords from above, skip it. If you don't like one of these titles, just click one, go to the next one. Uh, the best thing to do is just keep moving forward. I like to let Jarvis generate an intro paragraph, knowing that, again, this can be edited later on. After you've chosen your intro paragraph, open the editor. Now, if you haven't used Jarvis or Boss Mode yet, I'm going to show you just a few little housekeeping things. Up here, we have Focus Mode, which is what we're in now, and then we have Power Mode, which is where you can use all of the templates inside of the Long Form Editor. You have your title over here where you can toggle on or off to show or hide from Jarvis. Your content description should be something like, write an article about ways for moms to de-stress. And again, you can toggle this on or off. You can change your keywords throughout the editing process. As you're working with Jarvis, you may wanna just plug in one of your subheadings over here and Jarvis will focus on that. It's okay to change these. This doesn't mess anything up with SEO. It doesn't change the title, nothing like that. Turn your title into an H1. And then over here, you need to choose short, medium, or longer output. I choose longer. We're using boss mode here, but if you have any questions about boss mode while you're doing this, just click on the pro tips button and go through the boss mode training, boss mode cheat sheet, keyboard shortcuts, short codes. There's everything you need is right there. I also have some tutorials if you go to jarvisresources.com. They're my tutorials as well as other tutorials from Jarvis experts. All right, so we're ready to get started. The first thing I do is create a blog post outline. And the tone of voice I use when speaking to moms is usually encouraging. You can also use Oprah, Tyra Banks. There's some other tone of voice options as far as celebrities go that will give you that encouraging, uplifting, upbeat persona. I feel like Jarvis has definitely never had children because a lot of these things are pretty unrealistic for moms, <laughs> but we're going to go with it. So Jarvis usually gives two to three outputs over here, and it will give you a solid outline to start with. Click back here to go back to focus mode because you don't need all that mess over there, right? Take a bath. Uh, that is definitely something that we can include under the umbrella of self-care. The first thing that I do after the headlines, the first thing I do after Jarvis creates an outline is I read through the outline and see what I want to keep, what I want to get rid of, and I turn these into subheadings. Take a break from the kids for a few minutes. Wow, why didn't I think of that one, Jarvis? Oh boy. 
Another thing about Jarvis is he's got great ideas, but nothing is ever going to replace your own ideas and your own voice. A mom writing this post is going to be the best as far as results go because you know what you've gone through as a mom and you know what other moms go through. So what I use Jarvis for in this instance would just be to get, you know, an outline, have him fill in some of the subheadings and then add in my own experience. The first step was to do the outline and make these outline numbers into subheadings. The next step is to have Jarvis fill some of these in. Hit Control J to see what Jarvis is going to come up with. At this point, I got another heading that's good, and I got some information for another one of my subheadings that Jarvis had already created. Note that I do not edit as I'm going while creating blog posts with Jarvis. Task switching takes a lot of energy for me. So I like to do everything in batches, and that includes writing a blog post. So the first step is the outline, and I only work on the outline. The next step is filling in the outline, and I only work on that. I don't worry about editing myself or Jarvis at this point. Editing comes later. I'm going to use a command here, list five benefits of self-care for moms, and then I'm going to hit Control, Shift, and Enter. Jarvis always does this because it's like a sales framework of some sort. It says standard benefits, emotional benefits. Uh, and you can keep going with these. If you want to list more, that's totally fine. You'll feel less overwhelmed and stressed. Your children will benefit from your stress relief techniques. You'll be more patient with your kids. Hey, that's actually true. I like this. All right. Usually I don't rewrite what Jarvis types like that, but it was just faster for me to kind of summarize it because that's the look I was going for. I like that so much better than the bulleted list. Take a bath, fill up a tub of warm water, light some candles, put on some soft music, and just relax for a while. I'm going to speed through this next portion because I don't want you to have to just watch me keep having Jarvis generate content. You know how to do that already. So I'm going to go ahead and speed through, fill this out, and then start again at the next step. Jarvis repeated something that he had already said above. He does have expanded look back, two to 3,000 characters, but that portion may have been too far back for him to realize that he had already said that. I like to use the asterisks sometimes to keep him on track. So if I use the asterisks here and then I put in my command, then what he spits out may be different and you won't have to worry about repeating as much. This article is actually being written for my uh, niche content club membership. So people sign up and they pay a small fee each month and they get access to at least 20 articles that were written with me and Jarvis. And I always try to include uh, interlinking opportunities, affiliate links, that kind of thing. So whenever I have something that I know I'm going to need to address once I get it over to WordPress, or over to a Word doc if I'm writing it for PLR, then I put it in brackets. When I have it in Google Docs, I can do Control F, type the bracket, and then find exactly what I need to add in. Eventually, they may have an opportunity to hyperlink inside Jarvis. I know a lot of us have been asking, but I don't know what it's capable of, so I'm not sure what they can create. Uh, if that happens, then I will use that and put the actual affiliate links in the links to sign up for the affiliate programs there so the people who buy my content can just hop over there real quick. I'm using a command and it says list the benefits of listening to music to de-stress. Another way to do this because Jarvis follows patterns would be to say the benefits of listening to music to de-stress include and then I would start my own bullet point list. I would say a healthy alternative 
to other coping mechanisms. And then I'm going to press enter again. So I've set this up to where Jarvis knows I'm creating a bullet point list. He's going to continue on with that pattern. This is beautiful. Sometimes Jarvis will start on a whole nother bullet point list. So some examples of suitable music for de-stressing include, and now there's a whole nother list that you can use. I'm not going to tell anyone the exact suitable type of music for de-stressing, but I'm going to rewrite that later. Uh, inspirational songs, that, that's wonderful. All right. So, those are completely different outputs, even though the input was similar, but I like that one much better. If you find that Jarvis isn't giving you what you're hoping for, you're going to have to change the way you speak to him. I like to call it Jarvis ease because it's literally like learning another language. But as soon as you learn how to speak Jarvis ease, then Jarvis is going to learn how to speak your language and start speaking back to you in a helpful way, which is going to save you so much time and frustration. I wasn't planning on having a book list in this post, but that's actually a really great idea for my PLR people because they're always looking for ways to monetize PLR. So if I can add in some book ideas, like that's, that's great. A lot of times, uh, Jarvis gives us things that we weren't asking for. And most of the time from what I have discovered is that it's, it's actually really helpful because Jarvis thinks of things that I never would have ever. I, I never would have thought, oh, let me put a relaxing book list in this list of things for moms to de-stress, right? So now these are all affiliate opportunities. When someone buys this PLR, they're going to just be able to go over, grab their Amazon link, and put them in there. If they're a book blogger or if they write about books in any way, they could also use this for a whole new blog post. So they got an article that they paid for, but now they're able to break it up into a few different ones. Yes, sometimes Jarvis short circuits a bit. You might have noticed that in your own outputs. These are good tips, but we kind of have already covered those. So we're at about 800 words now. My goal is to get this to 1500 and then I will come back and edit. Yes, after I have a baby and I'm super stressed out, I'm definitely wanting to feel more confident in taking selfies with my friends. I would be happy taking selfies that didn't involve baby puke on me, but okay. Before I finish this up, I'm going to put my subheading over here just to show you how the output changes. Whenever we're using Control J, Jarvis is looking at this over here. So I'm going to show you how it changes. Take a break from the kids for a few minutes. Write an article about why mom should take a break. And then another thing you can do, another command is write a paragraph about why moms should take a break from their kids. Control shift enter. This is beautiful. Jarvis said, as a mom of five kids, I'm not going to include that because I'm writing for PLR and I don't know how many of my PLR people are moms of five children. They're going to have to add that in. That's a placeholder. That's one of those opportunities where you're going to have to fact check. And this one obviously isn't really a fact type thing, but Jarvis puts lots of placeholders in. So we're going to talk about this in the editing process, but during the editing process, you want to make sure you read everything out loud because that's going to help you edit his work as well as yours much more efficiently. The only downside to using the longer output is that if Jarvis gets off track like he just did, it takes a few seconds for him to finish generating content. So that's the few seconds that you have to wait. Now, a few seconds isn't a lot of time, but if you end up doing that 10 times in an article and it was five seconds each, then that's almost a minute. So that adds up. I'm not counting my time down to the seconds, but it is important to keep in mind that if Jarvis is giving you stuff that isn't helpful, 
you can move over to shorter or medium outputs and see if it gets any better. I feel like all of the benefits in each of the sections have been improves mood, helps with weight loss, <laughs> makes you feel more confident. So let's see. All right, I only got it to 1,100 words, but that's okay because some of these, like this is just bullet points. I'm going to have to fill that in a little bit more. The next step here after you fill everything in is to do a conclusion, and I have it marked in my favorites. What I do for the conclusion, and let me preface this, you can say, Jarvis, write a conclusion for the above post, or write a conclusion for a post about blah, blah, blah. I like doing it this way. So before you tell me that I can do it more efficiently, <laughs> I understand that, but this is the way I enjoy doing it. I go through and I grab just a few of the subheadings, not all of them. And then I don't put a call to action. They Jarvis usually gives me one. And then tone of voice. We're going to stick with encouraging. After you choose your conclusion, paste it into the document editor. One thing I've noticed is Jarvis likes to, and I know that this is him pulling from what he's learned, but Jarvis likes to say, in this blog post, you will learn, or in this blog post, you got to see blah, blah, blah. This says, our blog post offers some ideas on how you could de-stress. I feel like maybe that's because that's what everyone else has been doing. That's a really lazy way of doing things. So if you can, just put a little bit more effort and don't just do the whole, I don't know, like when I was in third or fourth grade and we were doing essays, the way to extend your essay would be to be like, in this essay, I'm going to talk about and then cover everything. Uh, so that's that's the vibe that I get from this. So I'm definitely going to edit that. All right, so after you fill in the subheadings, you're going to go through and fact check. I didn't read this at all yet, but I don't think there's anything here to fact check. This te technique has been shown in studies to relieve stress by over 40%. I have no idea if that's true, and I don't care to include that statistic, so I'll close that. I probably will change this uh, TV show just because, you know, I, I don't know that a mommy blog needs to be talking about Breaking Bad. Uh, so how about grays? Yeah, I might leave these actually. This isn't the type of flow I would usually use with a blog post. Like I usually don't do a ton of benefits, but I feel like in this instance, it would actually be helpful because I'm a mom and if I'm reading how to de-stress and it says listen to music, I'm going to be like, what's the point of that? And then the article is going to be like, I'm so glad you asked. And healthy alternative to other coping mechanisms. Well, that's absolutely true. Helps improve mood. Hey, that's awesome. That's what I want, right? Because we're doing the bullet points, totally fine. I want to see what Jarvis comes up with because I need a little mini intro before that, right? This is another good point. So I'm actually going to put it down here by go for a walk. These are good, and these are also options that we could link to on Amazon. So I'm going to go ahead and put brackets for whenever it's time for the people who buy this to search. These will all be affiliate links, or can be. The people who buy my PLR, if, if they don't want to, then they don't have to use affiliate links. But I feel like if you're buying PLR... You probably want to make money. I mean, at least to the point where you paid for the PLR, <laughs> right? And I don't know any of these books. So one thing, I'm going to take this out because that's religious. I don't do religious in, in my secular articles. I do have faith articles as well. Um, but I don't know these books. So part of the fact-checking process for me is going to be to go over to Amazon and see what the ratings are and what the reviews say for these books. Because I love doing that, I can get sucked in. I have to set a timer for five minutes. And then it means I have to speed read through everything. And I might find other books to include in here. I want to make sure that I include a diverse list of authors and even topics of books. So that's what my five, maybe ten minute timer would be for whenever I hopped over to Amazon. 
this point of the process, I would be reading this out loud. So I'm going to do that and kind of speed through it. Another part of the editing process includes checking how Jarvis writes things. And what I mean by that is, it says, as a mom, I know that sometimes it can be difficult to take care of yourself while taking care of your kids. And then other times it says, it's so important that moms take time for themselves to recover. I like to say it's important that you take time for yourself, like keep with the same way of speaking instead of going back and forth. I don't know the proper like grammar on that, so don't come at me, but I just like that it sounds better if you keep it all the same. I got this to 1,188 words. Not exactly what I was going for. I wanted a little bit more, but it's much different while I'm recording as well. Uh, it's a different mindset than it is just writing the article. So what I would do now, after I've fact-checked everything, after I've edited everything, I'm going to go over to Copyscape. If you don't have Copyscape, check out my blog. I have a post about Copyscape alternatives that are free. There are no results found. Awesome. So because I'm doing this for my PLR people, I actually save these screenshots so they don't have to pay for Copyscape. And for you, the next step would be to load the blog post into WordPress, make sure all the headings transferred over, right? And then add your photos. Make sure your SEO is on point. Some of you are using SEO Surfer integration, which I will start using soon. And some of you are using other things like Squirrely, which I love, or Key Search. So make sure that you polish up your SEO. Because I was just writing this for a video, I didn't really do any SEO work. I'm going to load it into the PLR vault and make sure I get the SEO on point first. After you add the photos and you interlink and you add your pin images, it's ready to publish. And remember that published is better than perfect. Do not let all of these posts sit in draft just because they're not perfect. Nothing is going to be perfect. Even when it is perfect, you won't realize it's perfect. So you can't help your people if you don't get the content out there. Hit publish on that post that you've been putting off. 